Oh. Hey guys, alright? Nothing really uh, too exciting to report today <laughs> for the second track, uh, Search for Tor Terra Nova. And then uh, I've, I've really got nothing too exciting to say, so I'll just I'll give you a sample of this track here. Eh? This is the chorus. Some nice progging going on there. Yeah, I guess um, the same with cosmology. The idea is hopefully that 2116 groove wasn't too uncomfortable, and um, because that's really the idea of this album, like cosmology, it's to kind of make prog kind of friendly. Um, some of the tracks later on on the album are a little bit poppy, which takes more influence from kind of Genesis and it bites. Um, whereas this is obviously definitely kind of in the a bit in the Dream Theater vein but um, perhaps also a little power metal influenced and also a little kind of folk metal influenced later on in the track you'd hear that yeah sorry the point is I'm trying to make uh, the prog a little accessible so even if you're not really a progressive fan it's not totally in your face so rather than being obvious 2116 like 21 notes per bar that kind of thing um, I've tried to make the groove a little friendlier So even if you're not kind of used to listening to probably you're not particularly a fan, then hopefully, what's this, you'll accept that, or you'll you'll be able to kind of listen to it at least. See, I'm not doing anything exciting, I'm just doing what I talked about in the last video, about cutting out those silences. I don't like to use a noise gate because it can be quite unreliable, because if I then want to um, increase the volume of this when I'm mixing, then uh, that's going to set the threshold of the noise gate and everything, I'll have to reset that. And I like to do it manually, it gives us a bit more control. Because uh, the noise gate can sometimes cut off the transients and stuff, and it's not what I want. Like I always say, like I said, I think in the last video, guitar's a noisy instrument, let it make a bit of noise. But um, yeah, you'll hear here if you listen out after the first few notes, it kind of goes dun dun, dun dun. I don't want that kind of ending note, that's basically the sound of my hand trying to mute the strings and this hand sort of hitting the strings. I don't want that sound, like I say I don't want it too clinically tight, too clean, but I don't want that after every note, you know what I mean? I might leave one or two of them in kind of sporadically and randomly, um, but I don't want that sound after every note because it just becomes kind of tiresome. Okay guys, that's it for today, quick little update, I'll get to work on this and see you tomorrow.